Hi everyone, happy to be with you again and happy to be able to share a few insights about uh, what it means to be nourished by prana and how do you feel that you are nourished by prana. You know, it's very important to be aware of the degree that we are nourished by um, solid food and the degree we're nourished by energy. Um, we have um, talked about this uh, many times throughout the pranic consciousness process and the other videos that we have done but it is important now i feel to share about this because it's a question that many people have so how does it, how do you know you are nourished by prana many people can't tell the difference between fasting and being actually nourished by a different source of energy first we have to say that Fasting is not the same thing with being nourished by prana. Fasting is that time when you uh, would abstain from physical food. You willingly stop yourself from eating for a small or larger period of time in order to purify your body, um, magnify your senses, sharpen your awareness, and uh, be more in contact with um, the energy field. Uh, during the fasting periods, usually people uh, experience the sensation of hunger and they uh, even have cravings or um, various mood swings that indicate that they are fasting and while they are not using food, they might need it for nourishment. So they are not fully, um, fully balanced with that uh, type of diet, you know, with no physical food. So fasting is abstaining from food and you feel sometimes weak or you feel imbalanced. It's not a fully a balanced state, but it is useful for purification and other uh, means of uh, healing, for example. As opposed to fasting, being nourished by prana is that state where even if you are not using physical food, you feel balanced, you feel complete, you feel energized, you have the power to um, travel long distances, do physical effort, even uh, have, um, you know, contact with people, events, uh, participate to social activities and so on, and be balanced and energized and very aware in the process. When being nourished by prana, you have no hunger and you naturally feel um, free from uh, the common cravings that people have. Uh, there might be still some cravings, but um, usually, you know, out of emotional needs and so on, but usually a small amount of the thing you crave for would satisfy that and you can move on to being um, nourished by prana um, as you were. So uh, those of you who are binging and, and you know craving for a piece of chocolate but then eating the whole tablet, you are not yet in that state. And one should be aware of it because if you think you're nourished by prana and you're not, you might damage your body. So awareness is the first uh, step in pranic consciousness and pranic nourishment, knowing where you are with the process and knowing if you are really nourished by prana or you are in the fasting mode. Uh, another sign of being nourished by prana is the mental balance. You have no mental fluctuations, no mood swings, and you have a lot of mental clarity. Whereas in the fasting periods, some people might have a fogging um, due to their uh, cleansing process or um, even uh, not having enough nutrients or proteins in the body and so on. So when nourished by prana and not using physical food, you have a lot of mental clarity, a sharpened intuition, and um, the general mind state is balanced and you are able to fully focus in meditation without uh, being jumpy or, um, you know, um, instable in that because 
as opposed to to to, to, to praying nourishment in the fasting uh, periods people sometimes are not able to be, go deeper in meditation because they don't have enough vital uh, support like the base chakra is not fully balanced and they can't hold that energy of meditation on extended periods of time so that's another difference that you might notice in your mood or in your balance and if you're able to meditate for extended periods of time without being jumpy without being um in any way um in balance then you are nourished by prana and you are supported in your meditation process and actually the meditation process is bringing even more prana in your body um, another important aspect is the emotional state you know people go on fasting thinking that they are uh, nourished by prana and they have very strong mood swings um, they can even get to uh, lower states as depression or feeling strongly emotional that's also because the body is not fully nourished is being weakened and um, you know if there's not enough ener energy and, and a vital energy to support your inner state your inner balance then you can go into mood swings and even feel um, you know depressed or um strongly emotional whereas when you are in the pranic state without uh, the need of phys or if using physical food you are fully uh, happy balanced positive uh, the situations in your life do not uh, impact you and you are able to see the good in all situations and the to, to, to trust the positive outcome in any um, aspect of your life that might seem you know at some point not harmonious you are able to hold that positive attitude and uh, be uh, conscious that good results might come even from uh, turbulent situations so the, the emotional state and the self-confidence are strong and balanced um, the physical body as well in the fasting state it might feel weak it might feel unable for certain physical activities it might feel the need of being, being more at home being more withdrawn from social activities being you know uh, more secluded like in the retreat so we highly recommend for people that are fasting to be more uh, with themselves in those uh, periods so that they can fully integrate the purification process whereas with prana uh, you can go have a large amount of social activities social interactions practice tantra have a couple relationship uh, be fully uh, present with people that are eating around you without feeling either discomfort or cravings you can be fully engaging in physical activities and sports i have friends who are um, you know mar marathon winners um, and um, spartan race winners uh, while being in pranic state so the body is fully able to support physical activity and be in social environments without feeling depleted or uncomfortable when in pranic state so if you have these these three uh, or four parameters uh, in place then you have the 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 confidence you know that you are nourished by prana when you are not using uh, physical food or when you are using very little physical food if any of these parameters are in balance then it might be necessary for you to reevaluate your pranic percentage and see where you really are and how to you you can adjust this you know because it's also important to know how you can adjust the pranic percentage when you are not 100 percent uh, nourished by prana it's important to reassess your levels of pranic pranic intake and see which of your bodies needs more nourishment you know because physical body um, has a type of nourishment emotional body has a different type of nourishment um, mental body has a different type of nourishment and so on so we go further in detail with the 
types of nourishment that are specific for each body in my book, um, Get Seduced by Your Own Life, which can be found on Amazon.com. And here you have all the information on how to nourish each one of your bodies. Uh, about how to measure your pranic percentage on each one of your bodies, uh, you have um, the breath test on my YouTube channel, which is called Cristiana El Traian. And the breath test is in Italian, Romanian, and English. So there's three versions of it. You can search for it and learn how to measure your pranic percentage, not only the general percentage, but also the um, pranic percentage on each chakra and on each of your bodies. So it's a very accurate, uh, method of nourishment of uh, measurement when it's mastered correctly. Um, with all that being said, if you want to go further into learning about this and being aware of your pranic state, because awareness is the first step in a pranic journey, um, we are starting a new online training tonight at uh, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern European time, so Bucharest time, we're starting online the new pranic consciousness process uh, with uh, one uh, online uh, webinar each week. So each week you have uh, detailed aspects on how to go deeper on pranic nourishment and how to be also aware of your state of being and be, you know, more in tune with your consciousness because we're not teaching people how to stop eating i always say that we're teaching people how to be conscious and how to be aware of their inner state and how to master the pranic energy uh, you know for healing if not for nourishment some of you might not be ready for pranic nourishment fully now it's no problem you can still learn about how to decrease the amount of food and not binge into emotional eating and how to nourish each one of your bodies and how to be more conscious and use the pranic nourishment the pranic energy for healing so it's still an important training to take even if you're not interested in stopping um, your your uh, food process and we highly not recommend that if the body is not ready if the soul is not ready and so on so you learn how to be in tune with your soul with your spirit with the universe so that you know when the time is right and when to eat less and when to add more food to your diet and how to m measure uh, this and you know be fully in tune with your body and with your emotional state and so on so uh, tonight at eight we have a free webinar uh, where we will meditate together and will uh, share the power of the equinox of the um, solstice together and um starting from that we are going on with each week of each week's eight weeks of um, of um, online training each uh, thursday we meet uh, at 8 p.m usually and we have a meditation together we share we share insights from my experience and from ex the experience of my teachers and friends who are nourished by prana and uh, from my uh, personal spiritual experiences as well because as I said we don't only talk about how to stop eating we talk about consciousness and how to raise your vibration and consciously participate to the balance of this planet this because this is what my work is about and um, this is what I can share with others so I hope the information has been useful for you. Feel free to share your questions and feedback in the comments below. Uh, the link to subscribe to the Pranic Consciousness Process is above or next to the video, depending on where you're watching. If you're watching on YouTube, it's below the video. And uh, feel free to join us. Tonight, the link will be posted on the Pranic Consciousness uh, Process Facebook page. The link where you can join with our meditation and um, solstice um, 
um, gathering and also the beginning of the pranic consciousness process, which will go on throughout the 2018. So happy to be with you, happy to be able to share this with you via technology so that more of us can join together. And remember, it's always a journey about consciousness. Hugs of love and blessings to everyone.